I said it before, and I why selling tickets. That the guy that I think they need to bring in, and I said it before, and I keep saying it, is Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens, I believe, if, if healthy, is a top twenty-five receiver, and he showed you that what he did in Cincinnati before he got hurt. He had a great year in Cincinnati. Chad and Teal have worked together before because they worked together in Cincinnati. Why would you do that to Joe Philbin? Because the facts are Joe Philbin needs to try to find a way, number one, to sell some seats. That's why they're doing hard knocks. And the other thing is try to get some excitement. Teal is better than anything they have down there with the exception possibly of Chad Ochocinco. They need help in a bad kind of a way. And you think that that would work? I think, because guess what? If, if he can play, you think it works. T.O. in Buffalo was not a problem. It was two years ago. T.O. in Cincinnati was not a problem. Remember, the, the media distorted what T.O. said. T.O. said, mm-hmm. that got him in trouble, was that we have to look at it from an organizational standpoint. We made mistakes, starting with the owners, starting with the coaches, and he mentioned the players. But guess what the media did? <laughs> let's leave that little player thing out there, and let's throw the knucklehead out there in the street. With the but, but the reality was he did not do anything to that locker room, but those comments got so blown out of proportion because they left that little third piece of the comment out that that's why he's not working. Does it matter who your starting quarterback is? For example, if it's David Garrard, is T.O. a part that could fit? As opposed to, say, right, Ryan Tannehill. Let's say Tannehill starts. You want to put Tannehill with T.O.? Absolutely, because, again, let's go back to recent history. T.O. wasn't a problem in Buffalo or Cincinnati. That is fact as far as playing the game and going out and executing. And I heard stories that he actually was a good influence on Chad, from what I know about that camp as well. So look, all I'm saying is factually, mm-hmm. in Buffalo. Now, I can't speak to that what happened in Dallas. Can't speak to what happened in Philly. Or San Francisco. Yeah. But because right. back then, he yeah. never met a quarterback right. he couldn't throw under a bus. Or cry about either. Uh-huh. But, but the point is not, from what I have seen uh, in recent history, he has not been a problem to the franchise. Okay. And you're not just saying this for, for Hard no, Knocks? I'm saying it because the guy can help. Okay. I think I think he's a great receiver. But that would be good on Hard Knocks. You know, just hypothetically saying, I, if you're looking for storylines. Was that knowledge enough or no? That is not.